All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Brody of the Halidoc Bros, and this is my Let's Play of Resident Evil HD. This is going to be the eighth part. And the seventh part, I was able to return to the mansion and grab some, grab the, well, grab the helmet key, come back to the mansion, uh, fight some new monsters, and um, basically get rid of the helmet key by unlocking all the stuff and. Uh, I'm actually getting pretty close, but the reason I started up here is I'm on the mansion third floor, and uh, yeah, I'm going to um, fight the uh, next thing that I gotta fight. Um, I ended the last video in the like dining room. That's just because there was a save point there. That's it. And obviously, you can see I have three guns with me now. I'm probably doing this like a tad overkill. Um, but I just wanted to make sure um, that I do this right. So um, I'm fairly certain that the... Um, oh, the yeah, okay, that's weird. <laughs> Ooh. Well, lucky me um, that I didn't walk any farther in the last video. I, uh, <laughs> I tried to uh, not walk so far ahead, but... Uh, in order to deal with this boss right here, you kind of want to get some distance on him. Oh, and not like that. That was terrible. I'm probably poisoned already. Oh my goodness. Right. Um. Uh, when you attack the snake from the back, uh, it's a lot less health. Uh, you take a lot less out of him, that is. But it is a whole lot safer. So... Um, hence, just like that. So it only takes five acid rounds. Now, yeah, I... Yeah, giant snake got nothing. So he's not that bad. Um, yeah, I knew I over-prepared, but I didn't want to... Whatever. I didn't want to uh, accidentally like run out of ammo. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and whatever. So you probably, I probably didn't have to go so overkill right there. But this is also uh, the same thing that you did with the other uh, book there. You get the wolf medal, which is... Which is, um, yeah, the wolf medal. And that is, a, a, you have to get that item uh, in order to beat the game. And uh, I think there are multiple ways in here. Yeah, there we go. Um, but just to, because this is a really big room. But, no, it didn't matter. So here we go. See, if we go to the third floor, that's done. Go to the second floor, that's done as well. Um, let's see if this unlocks from this side. The doorknob is broken. Doesn't look like it'll open. Okay, so I guess if you enter from the other side, maybe, um, it screws you and you gotta fight the snake, but, uh, I'm glad I'm, I went that way just to show that off because, you know, I, it's been a long time since I played this game and I totally forgot about that right there. So, right? I mean, that's, that's good to know. So, yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to backtrack. Well, um, I will just... Um, yeah, I'll just cut to the next area that I haven't been to yet. All right, so see you then. All right, everybody, so back to here. This actually wasn't that far away, I don't know, but I'll cut it anyway because uh, unless I find a whole lot of uh, more ink ribbons, then I, I can't be saving it a whole lot because uh, you need extra saves to do certain things in the game to change the ending and stuff, and uh, as long as you save it in the right spot, then you should be okay, but... Uh, oh, wow. Right, okay, so yeah, they turn into Crimson Zombies uh, obviously really fast now. Um, yeah, I came up here earlier, and uh, yeah, I got the battery in that room, which is like, you totally need the battery. So, now if you're smart and 
carry certain items, you know, and whatnot, then, um, then you probably, you, I mean, there's a lot of items in this area. Um, now I know on harder difficulties, they may have less ammo, but still, I think there were like four, two, or there were like three herbs right there. There were like three items in that room and, uh, you know, all this stuff, but this is the, um, so yeah, so I've picked up those items in there so let's just see hopefully I don't like I'll just go through here oh okay so you just can't go in that room period through that door okay okay and then they just put an X on it all right so uh, speaking of that let's uh okay so it is the elevator so it's saying that uh, there's something in this elevator that I'm missing or whatever Huh. Okay, I'm not really sure what it's getting to. And I can't do anything, right? Yeah. I mean, so... Speaking of everything else besides the elevator, uh, I am done with the mansion. I don't, I don't know what that means. That that might be something I have to look into. Um, yeah, um, yeah, that's really strange. Uh, but uh, this door over here, next to the typewriter uh, item box, I will. Um, I'm just gonna cut to that room because yeah there's nothing in this elevator and uh, it's gonna be like a little just uh, it's gonna be just like a hassle to deal with um going through the other rooms i mean there are hunters but there is a way that i can go that there aren't any and i could demonstrate it but really it's just me pretty much just taking a longer way around to backtrack you know because i don't want to deal with them <laughs> i'd rather just conserve the ammo so yeah so that elevator thing is just in progress there's an elevator later on in the game that uh that hopefully i can just get to it and if it's red all the time then i know i'm not doing anything wrong so yeah i'm gonna cut to that room uh or i'll cut to the box room at least so uh yeah i'll meet you there All right, so back in the uh, this room, obviously, um, yeah, you're gonna get the uh, the emblem key, and um, and I'm not gonna save it. I'm just gonna try to to, to uh, rock it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I know I need all these items right here. Well. Yeah, um, so far I'm just gonna rock that. Yeah, the, the grenade launcher is fine if you have like a, bother, a, a bunch of other ammo types, um, but whatever, nine grenades is okay, but I don't, it didn't kill every hunter in one hit, so, okay. Oh, so I guess I've never tried to walk out that door, but obviously that uh, that's, I've been talking about this door for like the entire game how it just it needs to get fixed but you have the key to this door now which is the emblem key and i knew that was going to happen but i don't remember how many items are in this room so i may just have to backtrack to the box right quick just because just because okay it's too dark to see anything you don't need the lighter i think there's just a light switch i don't think anything happens i could be wrong though <laughs> Okay, whatever this is. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And there's that, which doesn't take up any space. But I think there's a document or something over here. Biology related. There we go. Okay. Shotgun shells. Got a lot. See? Yeah, got a lot of shotgun shells. So uh, real quick here, we'll just go into it. 
and the room is uh, is good to go. So, yeah, so, um, right? So that's it for that room. Just, uh, there's, you know, uh, one, two, three. There's three items in that room. So, um, yeah, this right here, um, um, I don't, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do first, honestly, um, but there's this metal object, but I think, but let me just check real quick with this metal object over here, because I think this metal object has a ring around it, and there's like a piece missing to it. If there's any dogs out here, I'm blowing them away with the uh, magnum. I'm not, I'm not done screwing around. Okay, yeah, see? See how there's a ring around it? See, oh, the stone and metal object, right. So, 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 um, I'm just going to return here. I'm not going to cut because I'm going to explain what, uh, what the deal is here. But yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to try to refrain from saving it, which, whew, that's, that's why I'm carrying the Magnum. I'm not taking the grenade launcher. There's nothing wrong with the grenade launcher. Like, I could carry the Magnum and then the grenade launcher, but, like, the shotgun just, you know, I mean, I just got, like, 90,000 bullets for the shotgun, and the shotgun can hold a lot more bullets. Actually, but I am skeptical. How many shotgun bullets do... Oh, okay, well, so, but I need the crank now. Okay, and I do need the, not the ammo disc, I need the battery. That's the other item I'm gonna need, but I have seven bullets for that. So will I hit a box before I use? See, that's the thing that I'm skeptical about is, I mean, I should be fine. I mean, if I, if, especially if I keep the, uh, the three bullets with me, and I think I pick up more rounds on the way, um, for, for the, uh, yeah, for that gun. So, yeah, we'll waste them, though. Actually, no, I lied. I'm just gonna rock the shotgun, because... There's just no reason not to. I got plenty of rounds. Got plenty of handgun uh, ammo as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just got tons of shotgun ammo. But I'm not gonna bring along the ammo. I'm just gonna I'll just I'll just bring along the guns so I have the space. And in case there's hunters, I don't care. So. Yeah, but I would probably normally save it there, especially after I beat the snake boss and everything. But, um, yeah, whatever. I probably, I, and I'm rocking going without health, which is not bright. <laughs> it's just not a good idea, but, but if you have the Magnum and your, like, mentality of playing is, like kill the enemies instead of try to run around them which uh speaking of that i actually went the way that i went i cut through the dining room but i cut through the top part in order to come back to the uh, outside and uh i'll tell you right now there was a hunter in there and i didn't even realize it i was like looking i don't know what the heck i was looking at oh i was looking at my computer doing the recording stuff because i didn't think there was anything in there and uh yeah there totally was a hunter in there. Now he didn't touch me, cause if you're if you're running, he it was he was facing the other way, and I literally just ran right past him. He actually blended in like a little bit, uh, which I didn't I, I didn't even see him. So he blended in a little bit, and um, yeah, I ran right past him, and he tried to swipe at me, and he missed, and I just was right at the door by that point, and I was just like, yep, done. So just to uh, throw that out there, oh man. Darn. Okay, so... Wow. Wow. 
Wow, it is littered with um, snakes. And this is going to be... This is going to be really bad because I'm going to lose quite a bit of life here. Um, actually, I'm just going to cut really quick to uh, back to this room because I'm going to go back to the box, heal myself before it, it like drains me all the way of life. All right, once again, yeah, sorry for the many, many cuts, but yeah, I did not. Uh, so what you want to do with that part right there is not like hug the wall. <laughs> right there uh, that's not a bright idea obviously because I got hit by two or three snakes I just used a blue green combo because um, I mean I know you're instantly like injured but I don't know if it like you know like let's say I had a blue herb in my inventory and I was poisoned like I don't know if you can just use that right away and then you're still fine I don't know because well one, I got bit by two snakes or three snakes. I can't remember. But, um, but yeah, now that uh, I'm doing this little puzzle thing right here, I shouldn't have to worry about running around that area anymore. So, yeah, use the crank again in this area. Right? It says the sound of the waterfall has stopped, so... I don't know what changes. I don't know if there's new enemies or anything down there, but you saw me put the battery in. That's where it goes. And then you just use that elevator from now on to access the caves, which we're going to go into, which um, which that area is um, difficult. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it definitely uh, is a little bit harder. It's darker. There's a lot of hunters. Um, but, yeah, so... I don't think there's any, like, new enemies. Nope, nothing. So, yep. And there's, uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that happens in this cave. I hope to find some more, uh, ink ribbons soon, because, yeah, the, you don't want to be running around too much in this area. Uh, and I do not know where to go precisely in this area. Okay, so here we go. So we got a we got an ink ribbon. That's good. But I am gonna just put away the crank because you do not need it um, at all. There's just this is, I don't think you use the crank the rest of the game. So you know, just be aware of that. Um, and actually, I'm probably just gonna rock what I got going right now. Um, so, and that might be it. I think I may only be able to save it six more times, to be totally honest with you, the whole rest of the game. I mean, that's okay, though. It's I'm not that far off. There's just, there's like two more spots after this where, like, I want to save it so I can change the story and get some different trophies, which I'll just mention, you know, when I'm going through it. So, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> come on, game. All right. Alright, so that Medal of the Wolf, I keep thinking I can combine it <laughs> with this. Okay, so now that I went this way, and I can, I am going to... Actually, no, I'm still just going to rock it. So, I mean, I have six bullets and ten bullets. I mean, you can wreck pretty much anything, um, but just to, just to be safe... Um, I'm just going to keep the three magnum rounds just because I can get rid of that item, you know what I mean, and get uh, and, and, and open up some space. So, so this right here, there's a hexagonal hole here. Uh, I didn't remember that that was there, but uh, obviously that leaves you only one way to go, which is this way. And by the way, this... See, okay, so you, there's still items in this area, but obviously I can't, comp I can't even walk in this whole room because of the uh, little puzzle they got there. So, be on your toes, and uh, there will be hunters. I know they're down here. Okay, there's nothing in this room. Okay, so, 
as you can see there's this boulder right here so you want to run away from the boulder and what the okay the large boulder blocks the way there are blood stains underneath the boulder if you start running away Okay, I guess you have to trigger something. In the first Resident Evil, if anybody's ever played the one on PlayStation from 95 or 96, whatever, where, or it's more like wherever. So I think it released in Japan in 95 and in Europe in 95, but it didn't come to America till 96, like early 96. Uh, but you run up to the boulder and that like triggers it. And then you gotta like run away from it like Indiana Jones style. <laughs> oh, pistol ammo, come on. But you gotta pick it up. And uh, there's obviously a few items in this area, which you can see this one down here. Just pick it up real quick. More is that more pistol ammo? Are you kidding me? Dude, get the heck out of here. Uh, and I do know, I was going to say, I know there's something up here. You take the shaft. Yes. Okay, I think you have to examine this thing. And there's like a puzzle. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. I think you have to find another piece first, and then you then you just go to it. But I think I, I swear that's like a first aid spray on top or something. But I could be getting well. What what am I doing? I can just look at the map. Nope. So there's nothing. So we just keep going. Um, technically, you you know, thinking of it now, you don't really need to pick that up. What I just picked up, you can just leave it there until you find an, the other piece, and then do the puzzle. So. Yeah, I'm still waiting for these hunters. Oh, maybe you have to like Is that oh, you do this first, Jill? yeah. Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? No. But why? <sighs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. <laughs> <laughs> Enrico! Traitor? Who? Okay, so sketchiness going on, right? So you meet some new guy. What the? Okay, so he's holding the crank, and that is the hexagonal crank you're looking for. So just look in the room, nothing. Now once that scene happens, I think this area is now like, there's hunters everywhere. Yeah, like so. And you know, honestly, I probably didn't even have to shoot that one. I probably could have just passed on that guy. But it's weird though. So, so yeah, he took two shots there, but I, but I, I, I swear on video, on one of my other videos, I have, I have myself shooting one or two of them in one bullet. But uh, obviously, yeah, I'm gonna take it a little slower, cause they like to just pop out. Okay. I'm just doing a circle because I, th I, I don't know. For some reason, I think they can pop out through that like elevator shaft, but I, I, I don't really remember. What I should have done was use the shotgun since that hunter was kind of like wasting time turning around. And actually, I will if he lived. So there you go. Two hunters. 
completely dead. You know, boom. So there you go. That's the magnum. And, uh, okay, so maybe this is where you got to do this thing. Large boulder blocks the way. There are blood stains on the boulder. You start running away, and nothing. Okay, I don't know how to trigger that, but it's going to happen really soon, I guarantee it, because there's, like, no other way to do anything, and there's no other way to go. So, I mean, so if you're, like, ske skeptical about anything, you can just go back up the ladder and just, like, you know, go mess around somewhere else. Okay. Uh, so, obviously, I'm not screwing around with this piece of crap ammo anymore. Um... I'll hold on to that, and um, and like I said, I don't remember how many like rounds you get for that, but um, but yeah, now I'm gonna bring along these, obviously, because I wasted the other rounds for that. So actually, I am, and I'm gonna use, start using the shotgun as well. I got no, I have no reason not to. I, pro I probably didn't even need to waste them right there. Okay, it's not necessary to use this now, even though I know. Oh, that's my, that's user mistake. User mistake. So, so you got to start rotating this thing here, right? Okay. So I think that's it. There's usually puzzles and stuff involved with. Come on, pick that up. But just right here. Whoops. So it is done, but let me just use the crank again because, you know, there was a hole down at the bottom. Now the hole's at the ceiling. There's air. There's areas where you can put, like, the hole on the side. But I don't think... I just don't think it means anything. No, not this one. So it's probably the next one. I just, I just have my old Resident Evil thing kicking in. But yeah, so you don't have to do anything there. But obviously, take the crank with you. And um, actually, this is gonna, this is gonna be weird. But like, I don't need this this crankshaft thing. I'd rather just have the empty spaces right now. Cause I'll keep the herb. Cause yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna keep the herb, just just because. <laughs> but if I have to run back through this area, you know what I'm saying? Then there's no reason to have that. There's probably no reason to have the ammo either. But ah, oh, crud. Okay, well there's definitely gonna be hunters in here. Okay, so there's a boulder right there. Just looking around. Okay, so that's it. And you can't do anything with this, right? It doesn't say anything at all. So... <laughs> Let's just back up to it. Oh, yeah, I've basically just gone into using the tank controls now. Like, I don't know, it just... It's just easy. Like, it's easier to, like, to, like follow through. So there we go. Okay, enough of that. So the boulder... Okay, this is another thing. I don't know what's back here, but since I have to pick this up no matter what, just remember that there's no hunters in this room now. But when you pick this up, I think they show up. So I picked up those shells, they show up, I swear. No. Okay. Alright, well, uh, if anybody's ever played Resident Evil before, they know what's in this room. So I'm equipping the handgun. This is, this is so I didn't have to go to the box so much, but uh, yeah, this is it's go time in this room. Okay, so there is like a cutscene. Crap. 
What? It like dodged me? Get out of here. Whoa. This, that thing is way stronger than before. But uh, yeah, basically you don't want to be getting poisoned. Oh, get out of here, you stupid piece of junk. Okay, so the trophy is earned because of that. I'm gonna run around and let the little spiders, like, come out of the enemies. Okay, so then you just leave. Get rid of the little spiders, you leave and come back. So the spider actually dodged one of my magnum bullets, which I am, I am mad about that. But I don't want to screw, I, like I said, I am not sure how many magnum bullets you get. I've been using them foolishly, I would say. Um, but yeah, you do have to, um, and, I, and I, you know, I did well. Um, didn't get, didn't get poisoned. That's the main thing is to not get poisoned by that stupid spider. But just look around here, right? So there's nothing. You go up to this, it says that it's like nasty. Um, and that boss is optional, okay? So you hit this thing, you know, however many times I hit it, and then you just you just run through it. That's why they gave you that trophy. Um, because cause like I said, he's optional. So you don't have to mess around with them, you just move along. Um, I'm not going to use that quite yet. Okay, so here's a map, I think. So we'll use that map. So, so far we're good. Everything's good. Uh, I do think that there is another type of... Well, you know what? I'm going to leave these here for now. Um... Once again, you mess around with that. You can't do anything. Um, let me check the map real quick. Yeah. I think there's another type of writer and item box in this next area, but I don't want to pick up those two things and leave myself with no space at all. So let me just kind of go in here. Yeah, since I think there's there's ty or tyrants. Since there's hunters in here and they can I'm pretty sure they can kill you in yellow caution. They do have to like wind up essentially. Um and it's like pretty obvious, like they, they go in for a one hit kill shot. Um But um I just I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to get decapitated now, because that is what happens if they get you get de decapitated. But, and, uh, so here, here's this little area. Okay, so, right, so you see nothing. There's nothing over here. Right? Y you pass this area up, right? There's a door. Like, you can, you can plainly see it. So, uh, I don't know if you can do this. Oh, crap. Man, I might be dead. Because. Okay, no. So you do have to have, like, the right, uh, thing out. So this is the one where you have to have multiple uses. Obviously, that is not going to work. You can't do anything with that. But, oh, see? Now the cutscene goes. Okay. So along with that. Okay, so the boulder just goes, and, I've, and I was just holding that to begin with. Um, I'm not saying since, since this... I mean, if you're standing right here and you're facing that way, if you're holding the D-pad, you can probably get back there. But uh, I would just, I would just run forward. I would just run forward, make it easy. Okay. Um, I will pick this up. At least I got the spaces for it. And then you have to go in here and uh, do this little. Thing. I'll try to make this this video I'm probably gonna have these videos go a tad bit longer just so um, you know just so it's easier to deal with okay so there's a statue right there there's obviously a statue over here um, so my thing right here is yeah you see this like 
discoloration in the wall right there. Yeah. So, yep. I don't know why I can't, can't do it a little faster there. So you just use it again, and then it takes the wall away, and then it's a, not against the wall, so then you can move it. Um, this part, though, um, I know this, like, rotates. This, there's a, see, I mean, this, obviously there's a center piece in the floor. That, that looks obvious, right? I mean, yeah, you gotta do something with it. So, we push the statue. I think maybe just when it touches it, maybe it goes. So, okay. Right, okay, so then... Okay, so right, so you just push the statue off. I mean, that doesn't really matter. And you push it on again. Right? And then that's what it does. So you're set to go. I would push it this way. Just so nothing goofy happens. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't want to push it against the wall just yet. I don't know if you, if it does matter, but I, I'd rather just kind of try to put it in its slot. And a little bit farther. And you know, they give you the, like, close up, and I went too far. Maybe it'll just, maybe it'll just go in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I didn't quite get it in there, but, um. There we go. See, that's the cylinder, right? So, let's just check. Got nothing going on in this room. Right? So, we exit. And there's probably hunters. So, be aware. It's like the pop out in front of you. Right, so... Everything is got everything is got in got in that room. Okay, so Oops. Okay. Um the only thing I can do here is examine this. Oh get off it already. Now if this is something I can combine no I can't. Crap. So, I can't do anything with that, but I might as well just grab one of these, because there's nothing else to grab. And uh, there also is not a typewriter and save point. I think in the other game there is, but you also... Um, you also... Uh, basically, the entrance to the lab is in the caves... Uh, not like this game, it, it changes it up a little bit. I mean, there is, I mean, I'll show you eventually um, what the deal is, but... Um... But yeah, so you do not need the crank anymore, and you do not need the survival knife anymore unless... Unless you want it, basically, I guess. I don't know. Um, I mean, carrying carrying the one bullet around that isn't that isn't bright at all. So um, let's see. Yeah, you just. Um, I'll do this little puzzle right here. I should have done it next to the uh, the shaft thingy. So just symbols are carved inside. Will you turn it? Yes. Symbols are carved inside. Will you turn it? Yes. You just keep turning it until it matches up. So, right? Four, two, three, one. So that's that. Um... Yeah. So I'm just gonna put uh, put these back, and um, let's see. Well, I'm not gonna make 
I'm not going to make it, um, you guys watch me go get that other blue herb. But, uh, but yeah, this, um, well, I just, I guess I'll just point out where this goes, and if there's enemies along the way, then I'll just blow them away. Because I'd rather just get rid of that item so I know I don't need it, and then I can just, maybe I can just pick up that blue herb and then just continue on my journey. Uh, that's why I pulled this red herb out, but I also do know, like, what the deal is. And I, and that boulder right there is just for show, and just to tell you that there's blood stains because it can, uh, roll over you and kill you. So, I don't know if something, like, automatically happens, uh, right here. Um, but like I said, yeah, you can just leave that in the slot, you know. Uh, there's a series of flashing buttons. Press one. Which button will you press? So, four, two, three, one. So, there you go. So, you just had, so what it says on the thing is, duh, you know, super obvious, right? So, okay, so now that I di did that, I am going to just stop the video right here. Um, but... Yeah, and so yeah, you just go in this thing, and then there's a whole little area and like a whole new uh, boss thing to uh, to deal with there. So yeah, so that's gonna be it for this video. Um, well, actually, I am gonna go get that blue herb and then go back and then save it or not save it, uh, you know, depending on how many more sa times I want to save it. So um, so yeah, uh, that's gonna be it, and. Uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.